Hi everybody. Uh, before I do the next demo, I thought I'd share a few observations with you from the last sale I did. I made some you know me pots that um, uh, I sold at the show and they all sold out within a couple of hours of opening and I think the reason behind it was that I produced an information sheet, just a simple one, printed out, giving a brief history of what they are, uh, what they're used for, and a little bit of the philosophy behind why I make them and and um, why I like them. I don't think that it was a chance thing that they sold out immediately. I think it's a, a lot is to do with uh, that brief sheet I produced. Didn't take a few minutes. So if anybody's having a sale uh, coming up or in the future, if you can just put a brief history together of why you do it or the history of the part if it's a traditional type of part or some kind of philosophy behind it. It doesn't have to be complicated or too thought provoking. It just gives them a little bit of a link, a little bit of makes the, the pot personal to them. They think that um, they understand it, they will buy it. Um, just a thought. Anyway, let's get back on to what we're supposed to be doing. Just alter this so you can see what I'm doing. When I first started throwing, a long time ago, my tutor encouraged me to cut the first um, 100 pots in half and check the thickness. Now when you first start throwing, that seems awful because they're very, very precious, your first pots, because they're so difficult to do. But try and get over that uh, idea of making them precious. It's only clay, it'll re-throw, you can reclaim it. And it's also that, that sort of thought process helps you as you get older and as you get more experienced is that it's only clay. You know, it doesn't become a pot until you fire it. So uh, let's have a go and show you now. I'll try and do one, a, a, a typical one that people throw when they first start. Cone it in. Lift it up. And what they tend to do is Concentrate on the outside first rather than the inside and what you get is you get a, a cylinder which is like that. Now this is a 300 gram ball of clay and that is a typical first cylinder that people throw. So we'll cut this one off. And we'll cut it in half. Oops. Let's see if we will cut it in half. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. And we'll compare the two. What you should be doing. Centering, and then decide where you want the outside of the wall pot to be, and throw the base past where you want it to be. So, if you want the outside of your pot to be there then throw the inside past it, throw the base past it. Compress the base and then throw the pot in. And you can bring the base in to where you want the outside to be and already this pot, this cylinder is taller. Trust me they're both exactly the same weight of clay. All it needs is a tiny little trim off there. Clean it out. 
take a look at the thickness of it and compare it to the other one. Okay, so we'll cut this through halfway and up and we'll take that bit off and as you can see there's not a great deal of weight in the bottom here that would trim off when you cut the wheel off and we'll compare that to wheel off it carries on itself. Compare that to this one here that the average person who is beginning throws and as you can see there's an incredible amount of clay left here. Let's get something to point it out. Fantastic amount of clay left there and also that clay there should be up here. So the only way to get that clay down there on this bit which is the most important part of the pot what people struggle with as they're trying to learn to throw is trying to get a taller and taller cylinder so you can work with it is to get all the base clay out and that's the way to do it pull the set pull the base out further than the outside rim and then take it back in and pull it up okay well, that's been of use to people it has been a comment to one or two people who've um, uh, seen my previous videos and I thought I'd just explain it a bit further and um, try and take a bit of the stigma out of it a bit of the um, uh, unknown out of how to do it you got to lift this clay up and that's the best way of doing it okay hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think talk again soon